In the world of sailing, lightweight ideas are the best kind. This carbon fiber mast is a good example. At half the weight of aluminum or wood, it allows the boat to move faster and it's a pillar of strength, easily holding up a full sail. Whether you're a sailor or a passenger, it's nice to know you can count on its support. They launch production of a sailboat mast with a strip of carbon fiber. They wrap it around a long mast form, which will serve as a mold. They trim the material and peel away the paper backing. Between 20 and 100 layers will be wound around the mold, depending on the size of the mast. They apply some layers in a crisscross manner to give the mast more structural integrity and help it hold its shape. They cut away the overlap so that the edges meet perfectly. The material is a bit creased and bulky at this point, so they wrap it with plastic tape to compress it. Then they remove it. This temporary taping is done after each layer, but they leave it on after the final one and tape a breather cloth around it. Then they pull a long plastic vacuum bag over the entire thing. They seal the ends with tape, They attach the vacuum connector and hose and turn it on. It sucks air from between the carbon layers, compressing them further. Next, it all heads into an autoclave to be baked under pressure. This will squeeze more air from the layers. At the same time, the heat will activate the glue impregnated into the material, permanently fusing the layers. They make this fitting in a similar fashion. It's called a gooseneck plate, and it will connect a boom or a spinnaker pole to the mast. Back to the mast. They pull the big aluminum mold out of the mast tube. Using a disc sander, they rough up the surface so paint will stick. They drill two holes, and using a jigsaw with a special blade, they connect them, making one wide slot. And remember the gooseneck plate? They trim it, using the jigsaw so that it will fit snugly on the mast. Next, a worker maneuvers a plastic pipe with a string on the end. He threads the string through the mast tube, then hooks it and pulls it out of the slot made earlier. It's a messenger line, and it will be used to install the rope halyard that will raise the sail. They also use messenger strings to install electrical wiring, connecting such things as radar, horns and lights. They're all funneled through the inside of the mast. The mast has now been painted, and a worker installs the upper end of the pulley system for the halyard. He slides in a pin that holds the halyard pulley, and bolts on a guard to keep the rope from fraying. Next, they screw on a device that will let the captain know which way the wind is blowing, the wind indicator. He twist locks a signal light to the top of the mast. It will indicate the boat's direction to passing vessels. Now they attach a piece called the toggle. It's a connector piece between the gooseneck plate and the boom. This carbon fiber mast is now seaworthy and it should make the trip a real breeze. <laughs>